So now let's do step two of the roller coaster tutorial. So in this uh, second part of the tutorial, uh, we're going to do a prepare deploy because we will want to read from this unforgeable name that we, we, we are deploying on the blockchain. So we want to read the value on that name. So I'm going to copy this all, all this file and just call this step two instead of step one. And we are going to add some stuff to this JavaScript uh, file. So let's keep uh, everything on the top. Um, so what we will change here is the actual rolling. So um, you uh, may have read about rolling already. So basically with rolling, um, you can send processes over channels. So here we are creating a new channel A and we're going to send a process over this channel. This process will be the string hello world. So now we have a, a rolling code that is a bit more interesting. Um, we have a, a process um, that is stored on this channel A. So how can we recover this process um, outside of the rolling in our JavaScript runtime? So of course you can get this into, um, if you are in rolling, you can do something like this in A. So basically here you are, you, you got this, this process, you got it back uh, in this um, process, but we're, we want to do this outside. So we want our JavaScript web application or server application to uh, retrieve this value. So first thing is that, um, so we need prepare deploy as it is written here. So prepare deploy is an, an API uh, endpoint uh, through which you can predict the unforgeable names that will be created by, by your uh, next rolling deployment. For example, if you, are, if you have ABC, you can predict uh, those unforgeable name IDs uh, before even deploying. So the prepare deploy, we're going to do it on the top of our file. So I'm going to call this PD. So Arjun took it. Okay, so I'm just going to log this value uh, return from the uh, prepare deploy HTTP endpoint to make sure that it is okay. Node step two. Nice. So we have the response and we have the unforgeable name ID. So this A unforgeable name will have this ID. So this is great because later we're going to use this ID um, to read uh, this value. So let's keep it going. So we don't have to change anything here. Um, here we just deploy, we got the response. So now uh, we have a, a deploy that is sent. So I'm going to add this. Uh, okay. So now what we must do is wait for the proposal to be done. So I'm going to do this the, the dirty way. So I'm just going to wait. Um, uh, like 13 seconds should be okay. So this will just wait block 13 seconds uh, 
seconds in this line and then it will continue. So now what we will do after having waited uh, the, for the propose to be done, we will do a data at name query. So um, you can query, uh, query different type of names. Uh, the, the type of name we are going to, to query to is uh, the unforgeable uh, name. So it's not a, a deploy uh, type, it's an unforgeable type. So let's do that. So let's get this right and forge private. Okay, data. So now we are going to parse uh, this response and get uh, only this names zero. So this should be the correct way um, to, uh, to do this request. And uh, we have to uh, also give a depth parameter and we will see that this is very important and this is um, why you will need uh, to go through step four and five uh, because you can't do this forever if you deploy something at height 120 when you get to height 200 you won't be able to retrieve uh, this value anymore because it's too deep into the blockchain so so you're going to need another way of uh, retrieving uh, the value. So this should be fine. Let's log uh, this result data at name response. En avant, node step two. Okay, so something's wrong. Await new promise. So now uh, we must be here. Let's find the deploy. Okay, it's there. Nice. Okay. So now we got the data at name response from the Arnold HTTP API. And just from a first look, we can see this string here in the result. So we will just need to parse this result uh, correctly now. And of course, our chain toolkit has everything you need to parse uh, this and to get, to get it to, to a, sim a simpler uh, form. So that was uh, step two, uh, prepare, deploy, and getting the value on an unforgeable name using the data at name HTTP endpoint.